What's good, everybody? It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we got more CJ the Champ vid uh, video, but this time it's going to be uh, none other than Truck Coon is a menace. Now, Truck Coon, when I was looking looking up and seeing what what Truck Coon really is, it's just like Truck Coon is like some somebody who really has like ran over people who doesn't have no emotion, only didn't care about it, just running people people over, and the fact how they decided to like for CJ to do this video like I really got to check this out and see this for myself like what does he have against uh again him and why he r loves running people over but we're gonna go ahead and check this out appreciate all the love and support and if you're new to my channel make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe hit the bell notification for more of my videos uh let's get into this mug like it was so bad God literally stopped time and said oh Hey, listen here, little Yo ass is about to get blasted. But I'm gonna reincarnate you though. But I'm gonna have to isekai your ass real quick. Ah, uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to talk about menaces. Now in anime, there's countless of menaces out there. I Whoa! mean, you got niggas like Kid Boo, Madara, yep. Broly, Pain, Dopey, Kaido, Aizen, motherfucking Griffith. Like, we could go on and on because there's so many of them out there. But yeah. there is one. One being that stands above them all. This being has terrorized anime since the beginning of time. It has taken multiple forms and has taken multiple bodies. But yes, I am talking about the Isekai sending machine himself, Truck King. Oh! Truck King is the biggest menace in anime history. I mean, yo, this truck is out here smacking niggas in the shadow room on a daily basis. Oh. And what makes this thing such a savage, it has zero emotion, so it doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes you wonder, is there even a driver back there? Is this an evil version of Optimus Prime? Like, did my nigga defect to the Decepticons or some shit? Oh. <clears throat> but I've seen some of your comments, and some of you have said, Truck Coon deserves to be in the round table of Black Air Force. He should, but what I want to know... And I looked at the comment saying that he sh Truck Coon should be the leader of Black Air Force a activity. First off, the only one who is like the president and most likely the leader of the round table is mostly Kid, Kid Boo. I don't, because if you haven't seen my reaction to why he's the ultimate menace, go ahead and check that out. Activity. I know some of y'all probably thinking, don't tell me this nigga's really about to make a Black Air Force energy video on a fucking truck. <laughs> Shit, uh, how do I put this? Uh, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I believe it is time for an unexpected trial. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. And we will see if a meme can become reality. Shit, will Truck roll himself into the round table of Black Air Force activity? Find out today on Black Air Force Energy. Me! <coughs> <coughs> Shit, COVID. Whew, uh, exhibit Bruh. A. Please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce y'all to our first victim. Meet Sakura Minamoto. Now, on this day, she woke up very happy about to start her second year of high school. Now, it is early as hell. It is like 7 in the morning, and she is so energetic. She is as energetic as my dog is waiting to go take a shit in the morning. And it is a beautiful <laughs> day, but she had no clue what the fuck was about to happen to her ass. Oh! Oh my god, damn, nigga smacked the shit out of her ass. This motherfucker hit her so hard, it replayed five different times at five different Why? At five different types of speed. Now we all know in anime, if a nigga hits somebody and it replays multiple times, you know damn well that was a hard ass hit. Damn, you hit that Especially when, uh, during the tournament power, when uh, Goku went ultra instinct against Kefla and when Goku hit the Kamehameha and they did it three different frames like three times. Yeah. Like the finishing blow, my nigga. Like he sent this bitch flying. Mm -hmm. And she is dead as hell. So fucking dead. Like she came back as a fucking zombie, nigga. What the hell? Like back when she said this line right here, she said that she's kind of a klutz. And I mean, shit, she was not happy because this girl is a dumbass. Who the fuck just goes out into the street without looking to the left or the right, my nigga? Like, exactly. bitch, you forget the number one rule that your parents tell you as a kid? Honey, look both ways. Yeah, like we've learned that as kids, like when you when you're crossing the street, make 
make sure you lick left and right. Make sure that no cars come out and most likely, pow, hit you. And look what happened to her. Ways before you cross the street. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Stupid as hell, you deserve to get hit by that goddamn truck, goddammit. So after she became a zombie and everything, she had to think in her head, all right, I learned my lesson. Look both ways before you cross the street, right? Right? <laughs> my God, truck coon just blasts her ass again. Hey, but peep this though. Where is the driver at? Like you clearly see like, nobody. You don't see nobody. And that's my thing too. Like there's nobody driving the car. Like. Am I, and I'm thinking like, is this car like have a mind of its own and it's driving by itself? Guess we'll never know. In this seat, right? I mean, even though this guy gets out right here, where the fuck was he right here? Same thing the first time he hit her. Where the hell is the driver? Bro, I'm telling y'all, truck who is a deity. Anyways though, moving on. Here's victim two. Take a look at this poor little innocent girl. Now she is just out here enjoying her day, talking to her big brother. But little did she know. She was about to become Truck Coon's greatest hit of all time. How? Oh. oh my God! Oh, the nigga no. didn't even slow down. This truck hit this little girl harder than EDP on the prowl. Like my God, bro, her body is gone. Yeah. Like my God, bro, that was a one-way ticket to the damn shadow realm. Like, yes. He said, "Kind of real." Quick. Boom. And look at homie, bro. He like. What the fuck just happened? <sighs> but my God, yo, this is just another dumbass kid that did not listen to their goddamn parents. Exactly. Look, look, look both ways before you cross the street. Huh. You got it. But I know some of y'all probably gonna say, but CJ, look, the light turned green. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Look both ways before you cross the goddamn street. Listen up, kids. This is what happens when you don't listen to your parents. You get fucking isekai. But I know some of y'all probably still like, but CJ, the light was green, so she had the right of way. Okay, fine. Fuck it. I got a theory for you, nigga. So listen up. <coughs> what Please. if Truck Coon put this girl in a genjutsu? What? Ah, hear me out, damn it. So listen, listen, listen. Why is she the only one that goes out into the street? And everybody yeah. out here looking at her like, what the fuck is this stupid ass bitch doing? What if the light was red for them and it was green for her? Mm. So that's how Truck Coon led her to come out into the street and to get fucking pow. annihilated. Hey, hey, but you know what? That's just a theory though. But I just want y'all to see the carnage of Truck Coon. How he blasted this girl into three pieces of meat Honey style, nigga. And then some nigga like, call an ambulance. What the fuck is an ambulance gonna do, my nigga? She is dead as hell. And then look at all y'all at the funeral, sad and shit. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson. Look both ways before you cross the fucking street. Or Truck Coon's gonna come out of nowhere and put your ass to sleep. Like, bro, this is a problem in anime. Like, niggas don't even know how to look both ways before they cross the street. They don't. Even the parents sometimes, like, look at these dumbass motherfuckers. Wow. Blasted. Gone, and she had to just look at that and just be traumatized for the rest of her life. Like I guarantee you, in the future, she's gonna have PTSD of Truck Coon. But anyways, yep. yo, uh, that's Exhibit A. Like I said earlier, I hope Truck Coon taught us a very valuable lesson today. Look both ways before you cross the street, or else the Isekai machine is gonna send your ass to sleep. So, yep. uh, on to uh Exhibit B. Roll it. Now we all know Truck Coon is known for sending people to different worlds. Yep. We're gonna talk about Truck Coon's cousins real quick. Tractor San and Train Chan. Now oh. all three of these deities have Isekai three notable protagonists. Truck Coon Isekai Rudius, Tractor San Isekai Kazuma, and Train Chan Isekai Tanya. Now out of these three deities, oh, yeah. the one with the greatest speed is Tractor San. Ah. Now when Kazuma died, we all thought, oh shit, he got hit by a truck trying to save some girl. Wrong, no. he died of shock. Pure oh. shock! The nigga didn't even touch him! Tractor San literally killed him just by his presence being there. You know what this reminds wow. me of? This reminds me of when Shanks pulled up on Whitebeard's ship and he was so damn strong, niggas were passing out because they couldn't withstand his presence. Like this nigga damn. has conquered hockey. Tractor San has the will of D, my nigga. I mean, look at the fear in his face. Like yeah. my God, yo, this might be one of the worst deaths in anime history. And then we can't it forget about Train Chan. Train Chan Isekai, the menace herself, 
Tanya. That oh, which by the way, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen my reaction of what Tanya did, make sure you go ahead and check that out. This is a feat that we cannot ignore. Like Tanya has a very, very good chance to make the table. And train Chan Isekai the bitch. Like it was so bad, God literally stopped time and said. <laughs> Hey, listen here, little nigga. Your ass is about to get blasted. But I'm gonna reincarnate you, though. But I'm gonna have to isekai your ass real quick. What the so yeah, that was exhibit B, the isekai exhibit. And it is finally time to move into our final exhibit. Oh, <clears throat> boy. Exhibit C. Oh, boy, what more? Now, we all know truck Coon is known for brutal hits. But yep. sometimes truck Coon doesn't even have to kill them. Sometimes truck Coon just likes to give characters a little scare, such as this little nigga in Erased. Now, as we see, the driver is asleep. Obviously, that nigga truck Coon put his ass asleep and took over the wheel because he mm. said, I'm trying to catch another body today. So yep. truck Coon almost blasts his kid to oblivion. But Satoru comes to the rescue and saves the kid. But even though this little kid got saved, you can see the fear in his yep. eyes. The fear in his face. This yep. little nigga's gonna be traumatized for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. But what if I told y'all the kid wasn't the target? What if I told you that Satoru was the target? See, Truck Kun knew Satoru was gonna be a protagonist and help this oh. kid. So he took advantage of that. He said, fine, I won't kill this little nigga. I'ma kill you. So Satoru grabs onto him as Cause if somehow if uh the guy the pizza guy most likely would have would have uh was the one that walked, was trying to do a walkthrough, most likely he would have got killed and the boy would have been saved. Pretty sure the boy would have been traumatized for the rest of his life and all, but he did, he did the right thing of sacrificing himself to save the kid. Plan, then Shrek Coon beautifully assists his ass to goddamn Karsama to finish him off. Hey, oh. My God, that was a Curry type assist right there. So yep. Chuck Kun accomplished two things in this scene right here. He absolutely traumatized this little nigga and yep. sent Satoru to the past. But there's one last thing that Chuck Kun did that is absolutely insane. What? And we cannot look over this. Y'all remember when Yusuke was getting chased down by Truck Coon? Like, this oh. motherfucker was out here blitzing Yusuke, bruh. Oh my god, bruh. Look at the fear in his eyes right now. Nigga probably having PTSD from the first episode when he got hit by a car. My nigga like, mm. Oh, shit. Yep. Here we go again. All right, so I bet Truck Coon was thinking, all right, so the car failed to do the job. So fuck it. I'm going to have to hit the nigga myself. Like, look at Truck Coon's determination. This nigga was determined to end Yu Yu Hakusho early. Motherfuckers like, you should be dead. I'm just here to finish the job and correct the timeline. You are an anomaly, and you shall be eliminated. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm telling y'all, Truck Kun is a divine being that watches and sits over all the anime universes to make yep. sure everything goes according to plan. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, we really need a bigger table now. Because the ultimate mechanical life form has entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, yep. this nigga's a god. Like, he literally goes into each anime patrolling looking for stupid niggas to run the fuck over. Yes. I mean, Truck Kun is the anime Shinigami. He is the god of death. I mean, no wonder when Light wrote this man's name in the death note, Truck Coon came and cleaned his ass it. up. Like, just mopped the nigga off the floor. No warning or nothing. So nope. make way. This nigga is here. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it. I mean, we got some more candidates. Uh yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Truck Coon is the way how he, like, ran over stupid enemy characters because they didn't look left or right to make sure any uh, car or truck would run them over. And look what happened. And I hope that was a life lesson that they learned. That understand everybody that once you're crossing the street, make sure you look left and your right to make sure that you don't get run over. Cause trust and believe me, if you don't, that's what's gonna happen to you. So if you enjoyed this video so much, comment down below what was your favorite part. I appreciate the time with you guys. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more of my videos. Also show love to my uh my Patreon that I just uh, cre created, the uh, Patreon description will be uh, down below. I appreciate the time. I love y'all. 1K is the go. I'm gone.